Holy motherfucking shit, motherfuckers, man. Autumn lies buried right there, dude. Live on the Zach Moonshine Show with Metal Devastation motherfucking radio. Let's call these motherfuckers up right the fuck now and see what the fuck is going on. Hey. Hello? Yeah, we got shitty signal. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, man, we can hear you loud and clear, dude. Can you hear me? Uh, we're uh, trying to get to an area where we can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, dude, I can, I can, I can, I can hear you, man. Can you guys can you guys hear me now? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's way better. Fuck yeah, man. Trying to get to a spot where we can where we can hear you because of all the damn noise. Oh shit, man. So you you guys just got off the stage, man. Did you give it fucking hell, man? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, Up here in uh Cincinnati, man, it's uh it was a good time. Yes sir. Yeah. That's good. What was the crowd like, man? Tell us. It was, it was pretty popping, man. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of stage diving, a little bit of crowd killing. Yeah, most fuck of, yeah. You know. <laughs> and it, it, it's, it's maintained consistency. Like, there's been, what, 10? At least 10 bands. Uh, 16 bands a day. 16 bands a day, and it's like a crowd or stage steady. So that's that's always good. When you play later on, you're like, ah, they're going to leave. But it's been popping, man. Yeah. It's been popping. That's cool, man. We had to play like, some of the coolest bands of death metal right now, too. So that's well, sick. Well, hey, dude, they knew you guys were coming on, so they had to fucking stay, man. Fucking hell yeah. Dude. Yeah. Come on, yeah. man. <laughs> hey, man, we've been loving your fucking tunes, dude. We just got done blasting uh, a couple tracks, man. We played uh, Fuck Around and Find Out and then Brothel. Hey. Hell yeah. Uh, dude. That's the, the top uh, crowd favorites. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, those are, that is, I shout out to our boys. That's. All, all the people that fuck with us, that's that's what those songs are for. Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. Fuck yeah. I got to tell you, man, I, I can't wait to see you guys live at Tennessee Metal Devastation Music Fest. I know you're going to fucking kill it, man. Bro, we're ready to come down there oh, and tear it up. We're yeah. coming to tear it up, brother. Ever since it's gotten brought up, it's like, man, is it, is it time yet? No, nah, it's fucking still another month or two away. All right, it's two months away. We're fucking excited, man. Yeah. We're excited. Man, I gotta tell you, dude. Whenever uh, we were getting all the submissions and shit, you know, Raven kept kept yelling at me. She's like, "Come here, you gotta check this out." So I go down there, <laughs> I go down there and look. She's she's pulling it up on the computer screen. She's like, "Check these guys out." So we're watching your video, man. And I'm sitting there watching it, dude. The fucking guitars and everything, man. It's so fucking heavy, dude. But then that one part when you guys are fucking the skeleton, I was like, that right there. <laughs> done, done. Seal the deal, man. Call these motherfuckers up right the fuck down, man. Uh, we're not here for a long time. We're just here for a good time. Bro, that skeleton <laughs> keeps calling us. They won't leave us alone. <laughs> you guys are fucking My hilarious, man. man. Fucking funny as fuck, dude. I love that, though, man. Like, you know, just, just I don't know. You look like you're having a good time. Don't too seriously, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, we're serious in a way, but we, we like to party. Hey. Hell yeah. Hey, you know, we ain't playing, you know what I'm saying? Well, give us, a, give us a brief breakdown of, like, your history, man. Like, where did you guys come from, and how did you guys form together, and how did this all happen, man? Do you want the current lineup? Because going back in that old history is just a little rough. <laughs> Let's just say in 2018 uh, is when I joined. Galen was already in the band since, what, 2016? Yeah, 2016. Uh, we met. I was in Guerrilla Warfare playing drums, and we always played shows together. And then stuff happened with that. They didn't love me no more and kicked me out. Um, and they said, Joe said he needed another guitar player, and I was like, I'll try it. I mean. Yeah, if you found he, him and his wife found me at Waffle House. They, like, I was like walking home. I was kind of fucking bad, dude. I was like screaming some lamb of God. And some, and some catharsis in there. And next thing you know, I hit Waffle House. She's like, you want to be, be in a metal band? I was like, I'm not doing anything with my life. Might as well, shit. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Fucking Waffle House, man. Yeah. And then Joe had to leave because of uh, schooling and work. was just uh, like, like a lot to him. So he's like, I want to step away. And I was like, at least you told me and not just fucking quit like out of the blue. And he's like, he gave us time. And then uh, I called up Kane 
Uh, he was like, my brother, I need you to come play this fucking guitar for me, dude. And I was like, man, I'm not about that life no more. He was like, just come over, just try it out. I did my toes in. I've been here then, what, four years now? Yeah. 2019. Yeah, it's, it's, been, yeah, it's been in like a little drop every year. It's like, well, Kalen was like, you know, the man for the while. And then I came in in 2018, Kane 2019, John came in in 2020. Yeah, and it's, it's been full speed ever since, man. We've been, we've been taking names ever since. <clears throat> And, it, and then it helps out because like we've all got we've all got similar tastes in music, but like our our love for certain music's different, and I think that helps add to the different style of music we play. Yeah, t <laughs> tell us tell us your influences, man. Like, what, what were the bands that fucking you first listened to that really made you be like, wow, this is what I want to do, man? Well, the first band, like I, I don't know, I kind of just fell into this, but the first band that like kind of got me into uh, heavy music was like Lamb of God. And then, like, you know, I listen to a, a, a lot more hip-hop than I do metal, honestly. So, it's like, I'm, like, grew up listening to a lot of Tech Nine and, like, Twista and Busta Rhymes. And all punk. That. And punk. I love, like, yeah. I, I grew up listening to a lot of punk. Like, old, like, old, hardcore punk and shit. Millions of dead cops. Yeah. So, you bins all that. The, the ones I like are kind of like Whitechapel, Suicide Silence, and, you know... The I guess the 06 Death Core stuff, Job for a Cowboy and stuff like that. That's that's kind of where I fall in, and then AOP loves three six mafia. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And but but the band that got me wanting to play music was actually a local band from East Tennessee, a Skull Soup. Because I saw these guys, I'm like, these are just regular guys. Like my 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 sister works with the fucking drummer, and he's out here doing this shit, and people are going nuts for it. I'm like, man, that just sparked the interest right there. Like my my family's musical, but. It's Christian music, and we know how those people are in your area. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, same, like going to local shows, hanging out with local musicians. I started forming my, my first bands in high school. And um, ever since then, man, I live and die doing this shit, dude. I love it too much. Fuck yeah. How, how'd you guys come up with the name Autumn Lies Buried, man? We did. You want, the, you, want, you want the real story or you want the made yeah. up one? No, no, tell us, man. So I, none of us came up with the name of the band. The name of the band was made by one of the like the old vocalists, and like I came up with a convenient little fucking story that's complete and utter bullshit. To <laughs> More or less, we do not know where the name came yeah, from. No but we once you invest know. thousands of dollars into a name, you just kind of keep going with it, I guess. We just sit around. Yeah, uh, it's too late to change it now. Well, it's fucking badass, man. The logo, too, man. How did you guys... Who who fucking drew that fucking logo, man? That's sick. I, I think some, it was some a lady. Some, some lady some in the Philippines. Some lady on Facebook. We were like, yeah, we want a death metal logo. Yeah. And she, that's what she fucking hooked us up with. We were like... Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it was like... Uh, yeah, I, I want to say Indonesia, actually. Um, and she's yeah, like... Yeah, uh, that's, that's the same... Same place we got the fucking uh, Tennessee Metal Death Station Music Fest logo at, man. Yeah, she yeah. killed it. I, yeah. I, I don't remember who her name is, but if, if she hears this, shout out. That's yeah. all I got to say. Was, there was no, like, back and forth. It was, she sent us the first one. I was like, yep. Yeah. And all the guys like, yep. Yeah. I'm like, all right, there it is. Yeah, we always go, <laughs> man. I, I will always go to Indonesia for fucking logos from now on, dude, because those motherfuckers, they don't fuck around, dude. Fast as shit. Oh, yeah. This, this one guy keeps hitting me up. Like, he's like, you guys want buy some of my art? And I'm like, I'd love to, but you got, you're like straight death metal. And I was like, well, that's not us. New, but, we're new death. But it was like, it was, he's got a lot, a lot of cool designs. I'm like, if we were a little bit different band, we would probably jump onto it. But, I mean, there's a lot of good artists out there, like, so many good artists, uh, Art Echo from Louisiana, I mean, amazing. Um, and then there's the guys, uh, Mark DeGrucci, I think is his name. He did the uh, Plan Buster one. Um, uh, I don't know if you've seen that shirt or not, but yeah, he, he designed that shirt off of a cardboard sketch I did on the bus on the way back home. I'm like, this, send it. And I sent it to him. He's like, all right, give me a couple of days. And he sent back the design. I'm like, that's it. <laughs> Man, you guys have some cool shirts, dude. What kind of merch are you bringing to the Metal Devastation Music Fest? Well, you know, all of, we got we got seven designs on the shirts. Uh, we got we got Jewel Steen, Disembowel. We yeah, got yeah. Uh, Volunteer Stay Hate. We got some Clan Busters. We got yeah, we got the long sleeve. It's got the uh, anti clan on. It's but, high bid season, baby. Yeah, it's high bid season. And we got dude, a fuck around and find out shirt. Yeah. 
Um, we got Donkey Kong because he's the best Smash Bros. character that you can play as. We got candles, fucking um, yeah, wax, grinders, grinders yeah. wax melts, butt plugs. I mean, <laughs> we got it. There you go, man. The butt plugs are for the Christians, though. Hell yeah, man. Hey. You can bleep that out because I every time I see those posts, I just get pissed, so I'm sorry. Hey, man, if they want to buy tickets and they want to come on in and fucking buy the fucking uh, merch. Hey, we'll hang out. Yeah, we'll hang out with you. Yeah. More, more power. We'll back them up and give them a hug. I don't, and tell you like, I don't really, I don't, I don't dislike anybody until you give me a reason to. So, yeah. But you're giving somebody so much shit on Facebook, like every time they post something. We don't go to those churches every fucking Sunday and give them shit for what they believe in, so they just need to leave it be. I know, man. I know. I don't I'm get sorry. It. I don't I'm, get I'm it. trying to get off that subject, but it pisses me off. I think about it. I'm like, you motherfuckers, you're so scared of this shit, and you're telling us to not to do it and whatnot, but at the, same, at the same time, they want to tell everybody that everything is God's plan, and they got the power of Christ behind them. Well, if you got the power, then walk right in there with your head held up high and be like, you know what? I got God with me. It ain't going to hurt me. Yeah. Why are you afraid, man? Because it's fucking bullshit. That's why, man. That's we had these that's two, we had this, uh, this couple in the in Rockford. They're like, when we first met you guys, we thought you guys were mean. And then we started talking to you guys, and you guys are really nice. I'm like, exactly. Yeah, man. <laughs> we'll <make> dummies. <laughs> <laughs> Just four dads playing metal, bro. That's it. Fuck yeah, yeah, man. Dragons? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah this is dorks. <laughs> Absolute virgins. <laughs> well, I gotta ask you guys, man, because you don't have a bass player, but your fucking guitar riffs and shit are so fucking heavy, you don't even need one, man. The power of the seventh string, brother. The tune low. Uh, yeah, man. Tell us, man. That what the fuck are you string. playing, dude? Give us a gear rundown, man. What, what kind of gauge oh, strings are you playing and shit? Uh, you can go first. All right. So technically, right now. Um, I'm running some LTD guitars. They're the best brand in the in the world. Hell yeah. Uh, my mom. Um, you know, we're running some out of orange cabs and uh, we got uh, we both running uh, Pod H D Pro X's. Yeah. And uh, that may be a shock because that's fucking dinosaur gear, man, but they fuck. Yeah, they're like five hundred dollars brand new. They, they they go harder than Kemper's do, brother. I am like yeah. I'll buy on that. I still and the way we run the the way we run the cab, since we don't have a bass player, we do a next pattern. So, say I'm on the top on the left-hand side, I'm on the bottom on the right-hand side, and vice versa with King. That way it kind of gives it a fuller sound. So we got that ass-slapping tone, brother. Yeah. And I play a Schecter and a, a Sub-Zero, which is not really a known brand. It's just custom. It's a badass. Yeah. yeah. It's a, it was a $300 guitar, and I put about two or $300 into it. And it, it I think it, it's, it fucks. Yeah, it does. <laughs> That's what's up, man. But yeah, the pods. I mean, I mean, we've had people with Kemper's ask us, "What are we playing through?" And we're like, "You know, man, you don't want to know, brother. We're playing no. something significant." Dude, than you. dude, I know, man. I have a Line Six fucking HD five hundred fucking thing sitting on the floor right next to me, man. That's that's what I play all the yeah. time, man. My brother, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I got yeah. a, I got a bunch yeah. of other pedals and shit. Like, I got a, a, a Soldano fucking preamp that I hooked up to it and use that instead of the fucking amp sims that they got inside, but. The shit that's inside is not that bad, man. It's actually pretty Bro, good. You gotta fuck the, man. So the thing about it is, man, a lot of people expected those to be like out of the box, good man. You take enough time and tweak the oh, shit out yeah. of them, bro. You get some monster shit out of it. That's man. that's my only like, gripe with it, man. Like out of the box, it is a pain in the motherfucking ass, man. You gotta look up yeah. YouTube videos. But once and you fucking, dial it in, bro, you dial it in, bro. It's money, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I think the only thing we ever change on ours is the volume. That's it. Yeah. We've got them set and. uh and I think mo for most part, I think I bought a, a metal pack for mine. Uh, we tried to put it on Kings too, but just the fucking we ran the stock sounds out of it for a while yeah. after we tweaked them up, and they're they're phenomenal. Yeah. To this day, I'm pretty sure I'm still using stock tones. On that Once again, we're all dads. We can't afford that shit. Mm, on. Give me a little shitty thing, and we'll, we'll run it up. I can barely afford this phone call. Not <laughs> fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what string? About what, what string gauge are you guys using, man? Uh, I use 62s on my 30 inch scale guitar and 68s on my 26 and a half. God, I man. use a uh, Ernie, Ernie Ball skinny top heavy bottom. So my top or so my low string is a 72. I think my high is a 10. It's ignorant. Dude, I'm yeah. Use, yeah, man, that shit is fucking heavy as fuck, man. I'm using the uh, 
heavy top, skinny bottoms, just like you said, man. On the red pack, bro. That's God strings. Yeah, dude, that works, <laughs> man. But I don't have a fucking seven string or an eight string, man. Fucking, but I've been looking at the motherfuckers and I've been thinking about it, cause. Oh, well, my thirty, my thirty inch scale is a six string. I play six and a yeah. seven. Kane plays both sevens. Six strings will go as low as eight strings. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, you got a baritone, man. You got that next. You got that neck length on it, bro. You got a, plenty of shaft, bro. You can go as low as you want. Hell yeah, man. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I don't know shit. <laughs> well, tell uh, tell for the people out there listening, man. Uh, what what can they expect when they see you guys live, man? For people out there who've never seen you guys live in action. Uh, stupidity. Like I said, we don't. We do take ourselves seriously, but we like to have fun. And like, if I gotta push you, uh, <laughs> if I gotta push you to make you move, that's what I'll do. And like, you know, sometimes that's all it takes is one person just getting that nudge. They're like, they want to get in there, but they're kind of worried. I'll, I'll go out there and nudge them. I don't hit nobody, but I, I will encourage movement. Um, but yeah, we just like to have fun, man. It's just. That's all it's about to us. I mean, like I said, we try to be spot on, but I would rather not be stiff and play every part right. I would rather be loose, maybe me maybe maybe mess up a little bit, but still have fun. And everybody's having fun. Like, you know, that's what we're all about. Um, you know, it, it's serious to a point, but it, 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 it's not. You know, we, we I don't want this to be a job. None of us want this to be a job. We, we, if we do, we want to make money, like, playing music obviously that's the, that's the dream for everybody but realistically i, I, I just want to have fun and not get fucked over <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> of course we've been going through that i don't know if you've seen posts about it or whatever but you know that's the kind of stuff that kind of kills my spirits i'm like man man i was like you know what fuck it we've done this stuff for by ourselves so long yeah we had our book we had like our, our booking manager is it turned out to be a complete fraud and was it, it was that one guy that's on the news over everywhere? On Lamgoat? Yeah. Yep, that's him. He was our guy. Luckily, we never paid him um, like a retaining fee. He was asking for four hundred dollars a month retaining fee. Oh. I'm like, dude, I don't know you from whoever, and uh, no, I'll give you a percentage of the guarantee you get us, and that is it. He, um, he hit me up one time and asked me, uh, to, he wanted to submit some band to the fest. I can't even remember who. And then he was like, can you play it on the show? And I was like, sure, man. Send me an MP3. And I just never heard back from him. Well, yeah, that, 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 that hit, that's history now. Um, last August, we got the same freaking deal. Somebody screwed us on that one. Out of 23 days of guarantees, we got four or five. And we're out on the road for 30 days. I don't expect to make a lot of money, but we need to make something. We're coming back home to family. You know, I got a wife and five kids. Kaylin's got a wife and kid. Kane's got a uh, kid. And John's got a wife and kid. So, like, we can't just not make anything, especially when I'm taking – it's not pay time off. I just – I essentially quit my job for that run. Um, but, you know – that shit, that, I don't, I don't like that shit at all. And and all these people I talk to, they're like, "Well, we'll just talk to you directly from now on." I'm like, "That's the way I gotta do it." There's mm -hmm. no middle in the man to fuck us over. And I'm like, I don't know if you saw my post the other day, but I was like, "If you fuck me over, fuck my family, fuck my extended family, which I'm one considered, you know, the Metal Devastation guys, you know, people, my extended family, Kalen, Kane, John." I was like, "It's over for you. I, I don't want to fucking see you because if I do." Um, I want to hit you. The other day we saw somebody that fucked us over last year, and all I saw was red when I saw his face. But oh, I was yeah, like, yeah. I'm not going to jail because I got, you know. But then it all just fades away because he just gets out of the car and he's just terrified to speak to anybody. Yeah. Hell yeah, so, man. Fuck around and find out, man. That's exactly what it is. And I was <laughs> like, man, I, yeah. I, want, I had my fist clenched. I was like, I want to punch this motherfucker, but. I'll go to jail, bro. Yeah. It's not worth it. Keys. No, jail, jail ain't worth it, man. Fuck that place. Yeah, uh, I'm just like, you know, God, I, I hate it. And I, I hate when people get taken advantage of, smaller people. Like, you know, I, I can still consider us a smaller band, and I'm like, if you take advantage of us, I get pissed off. If you take advantage of other fucking big people, I get pissed off. The only thing I care about when other bands go out with us, you get paid. That's, that's my main concern, because they're out here struggling just like we are. Eight, ten plus hours from home, 
and you got to you got to make it back home, dude. Yeah, man. Fuck yeah, dude. Totally understand what you're talking about right there, man. Fucking hell yeah, dude. Hundred percent. I'm sorry. Man. If I'm going off on tangents. I'm no, sorry. No, no. Just... That I mean, that makes me think. You know, like fucking. I'm so fucking proud that we're able to do this shit with Metal Devastation Music Fest. Give you guys a hundred percent merch fucking cut. You know what I mean? Like, there's there's no yeah. fucking. Uh, what the fuck is up with these venues fucking taking all that shit, man? That's crazy, I, man. Like, the, what the fuck else are you seen supposed it. to do? We've never seen that personally, but I have personally seen it. Uh, have you heard of the band Dead South? No, no. Oh, uh, they're, they're like a folk uh, bluegrass kind of band from uh, Canada. We saw them at the Rama, me and my wife did, and then it said they take 25% merch cuts, 10% uh, music cuts. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? So I was being the person I am. I just turned around and be like, hey, if you guys really want to support these, pay 25% than what the merch says. Man. So many- I mean, it sucks. It sucks, but I mean, yeah. you can't fucking, I don't give a shit how big the band is. You're going to fucking, do they get a cut of the beer or, you know, the food sales? No. So why in the fuck are you going to cut into my shit? Right, they were, they, they were already making next to nothing for them right now. <laughs> HR take it from people. Really. And that was a sold out show. So, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I never understood that. I'll never play a place that does that. Um, like, But like I said, I'm more, we're beyond grateful that you guys accepted this. I know I tried last year, and I think we missed the cutoff for that one. I'm like, we're going to try it next year. And, uh, yeah, man. Well, I'm glad you did because, uh, fucking, when we saw that shit, I was like, hell yeah, man. We got to. And yeah, right. The message me back. She's like, oh, thank you. I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Well, we can't wait to see you guys live, man. I'm about out of questions for you. Is there anything else you want to let the people know? Uh, just, uh, check us out on Spotify and stuff like that. Um, Buy merch if you if you like uh, if you go to our page or uh, my page or any band members page and you see the merch that you like, please hit us up on that first uh, rather than going to the site. I don't want to discourage the website; it's got more stuff. But I set prices where we don't make money on that. So if we could help us out through buying direct, it helps us out, and we'll ship it. You know, practically anywhere. Uh, any of the merch shit we got, we got candles and stuff. Any of that stuff, we'll sell. Uh, ship. I'll send you some pubes if you want. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's the uh, that's the thing, you know. Just go out and support your local bands. It doesn't matter where you're at. It doesn't have to, like I said, it doesn't have to be us. Any local bands, because it's one day I saw somebody comment on a poster, is like, oh, no bands I've ever heard of. I was like, well, the bands you've heard of once before has never been heard of. We all have to start somewhere. You got that right, man. So, but yeah, I mean, Spotify. All that stuff. Uh, I even think we're on TikTok, like as far as music was. Uh, YouTube. Um, working on a cover. Uh, situation happened with the person that we was recording with. Uh, no longer recording with him, so we're going to somebody else and trying to record a cover. It is a um, early two thousands rap song, so I'll give you that hint. Um, oh, and then currently writing the next album, so um, probably another EP, maybe a full length, but. Um, Kind of probably just gonna go with an EP for this one again. Hell yeah, man! And, All right, and well, hopefully we'll hit the road in 2024. Um, better ways instead of getting screwed over on no guarantees or no uh, contracts or nothing like that because that sucks. <laughs> yeah, do you guys have any shows coming up? Um, well, we're still on tour, so this is uh, night two of four. Tomorrow we'll be in Battle Creek, Michigan. Um, can't remember the name of the place. And then we'll be in West Chicago at the WC Social Club uh, Sunday. After that, um, I think we got, let's see, oh, no, I'm off around. Shit. Uh, August, September. Uh, I don't think we really, we got, we got one show up in Louisville on the 24th. Um October is more busy. I mean, we'll be with uh, you guys. I think we're going to try to do a 13th show at the at the up there in Clarksville uh, at this new place. It's like because we don't have a venue up there anymore, so we're trying to work on that. Um, this barbecue joint is like, ah, I'm not let you guys play there. Let's try one out and see how it goes. So maybe there we'll play that. Um, October 21st, we're going down to Louisiana for a raid fest. Um, man. 
I, I don't know. I've been I've been to Iraq, so I've got some head issues. I can't remember all the dates. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look at our calendar, but like if you go on our ba Facebook page or um, I don't think Instagram has it, but Facebook page you, we got it on there, and um, even just sharing a post, you know that that means the world to us, and we love everybody that does everything for us. Um, you know, a simple like goes a long way, um, and we we greatly appreciate everybody that. Continues to stand behind us through the bullshit. Yeah, um, sure, sure. I'm not going to lie. Your boys have been thinking about quitting for a while. Yeah. And then, um, you know, shit like this, talking to you, people coming out these shows and just, you know, showing us love. And it's just like, we can't stop. We can't. We can't. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, before I let you guys go, can I get you to make us a station tag real quick? Oh, for sure. All right, whenever you're ready, say something like, This is Autumn Lies Buried, and you're listening to Metal Devastation Radio. All right. This is Autumn Lies Buried, and you're listening to Metal Devastation Radio. Fuck yeah, man. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. All right, well, motherfuckers, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us, dude. I really appreciate it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to blast some more Autumn Lies Buried for these motherfuckers so they can go crazy, all right? All right, we'll see you in like a month and a half, I think, somewhere around there. Hell yeah, man. We'll see you, dude. We'll be there. All right, yep. Yeah. Have a good one. Later. There you have it, folks. Autumn Lies Buried live on the motherfucking Zach Moonshine Show with Metal Devastation motherfucking radio. Like I said earlier, put your speakers in your fucking windows. Put them in your front lawns. Do whatever the fuck you got to do. Make everybody around you hear this shit and be like, what the fuck? is going on with this motherfucker, man. Why won't he turn it down? We ain't turning it down. We ain't turning shit down. We're going to turn it the fuck up, man, to 11.